tiny toys in an equally tiny treasure chest. Here's your look at the new Super Impulse Micro Toy Box Collectibles. And a big, big thank you for tiny, tiny toys from the folks over at Super Impulse who actually took the time and sent these my way. Mind you, they've sent them inside of a treasure chest, but you'll be happy to know that it was shipped inside, obviously, a much bigger box because there's no way, there's no way that would sit on my doorstep without neighboring pirates wanting to come and pluck my booty. That doesn't sound so right. We're going to go ahead and open up the treasure chest and we're going to check out the contents inside. Now, again, they took the time and sent these my way. And I really love, again, the package, the presentation of things, the way they actually sent it inside of this cardboard treasure chest. But that's not, of course, the thing that we're going to be looking at. No, no, indeed. We're going to be opening up the treasure chest. And we're going to be having a look at the contents inside. Now, they actually did send three of these my way. The micro, brand new micro toy box miniature collectibles. There are 50 to collect with five toys located inside. Some of the examples you can see from the side. There seems to be a Power Ranger, a rocking horse, a little tiny Pictionary, even a G.I. Joe, Candyland, and even this phone. I think every child in the 80s at some point must have had this little rotary phone. What we got on the other side, we got Uno, Hot Wheels, Rubik's Cube, oh, a Rubik's Cube, even a Light Bright. We're going to go ahead, like I said, and open these up and then lo locate it on the bottom. Comes with us again from the folks over at Super Impulse, which is an extension of the Hasbro. Do I need a knife? Let's see if I can actually just peel back the plastic myself. Oh, good. I can actually do that. We have, first of all, I think I may have even had this game as a kid growing up. A little basketball electric game, electronic game. We uh, had to shoot. I think most of the time back then, sports games were usually red dots. You had to just use your imagination. But the little red dot, you'd have to get it into the basket. I mean, I don't know if it's just the fact I'm looking at it now with adult eyes. That seems like it's a pretty straightforward game. <laughs> and yet, if I was to play it now, I probably wouldn't be able to score one basket. It's all molded here in white plastic with, again, a few placed stickers on the front to replicate the game that I would have had. I think I did actually have this as a kid. Let's see what else we have inside here. We have some construction paper. I don't think that's one of the... Oh, and there's a little sticker. I guess this is. Is this a sticker? Let's have a look at this quickly. Watch me spend the entire review just destroying this card to find out later it's not even a sticker. I felt like it may have been. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a card. I mean, it has sort of the feel like it should be a sticker. And then we've got a plastic insert. We can go ahead and remove that. And then there's all these little plastic baggies inside. Now, it says five. I don't know if that counts the one that would have been on the front. Or if there is actually five baggies on top of that. There's two, three, four. Okay, so that does count the one that was on the top. Ripping the next bag open. Checking out the contents of what we got inside this bag. We've got a little tiny Uno. I don't think I've ever played Uno, honestly. Scout's Honor, even though I was never a, never a Boy Scout. Did you ever play Uno? Let me know down below in the comments section. Uh, again, a little cute little miniaturized version of Uno. I mean, this would be really fun if you had action figures. Imagine like the Ninja Turtles playing around with these little tiny toys that we're getting here. So there's Uno. Let's see what else we have in here. Ripping the next bag open. To go along with that, we have a little tiny Monopoly. And I guess if you were to compare this in sizing, it's probably about the same size as the shoe. The shoe normally was my favorite thing to play as, or it was the top hat. That statue of the guy that was on the horse, I mean, that usually was the thing that I got stuck with if more than, say, four players were playing. I was always the one that got stuck. I always went immediately for the shoe or the top hat, but sometimes someone grabbed those two pieces before me, and I was relegated to be stuck with that blasted, a man on horse. I think it was like a little man on a statued horse. What is your favorite Monopoly piece? That would be certainly a good video question to ask you, the viewing audience. A couple of the examples. Now, see, this is way past my time. A dinosaur, a rubber duck, <laughs> please. Shoe or top hat? That's the only answers I'm willing to accept, even though I've now asked you, the viewing audience, what's your favorite Monopoly piece? 
let me know. I really hope they haven't retired the top hat. Maybe they have updated the shoe. Maybe it's not so much that kind of shoe anymore. Maybe it's like a, I don't know, like a sneaker, a Nike sneaker. The next one we have is a light bright. Light brights were fun back in the day. The problem with it, though, is the moment you put the first layer down and then you had to put the things in the colors, it would tell you where the colors were supposed to go. But the first time you punctured those holes, you wouldn't know afterwards what color was supposed to. And a butterfly is easy enough. You can easily just guess for yourself. But I had a Justice League, Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman. And the first time I put those little pins in afterwards, I didn't even know where things were supposed to go. I think half the time, Superman just ended up having a red face. I guess you could kind of line up where a face should be, but you, you get you get the idea. A little tiny light bright. Light brights are still around right now. I'm, my daughter actually has a light bright. And the last one, because again, you get five of them right inside. The last little baggie that we're going to be opening up feels a little rounder, and it seems to be a yo-yo. Now, this is Duncan Imperial Yo-Yos. I don't know if it actually has a functioning string. No, it doesn't. No, it's just molded in there. I could not use a Yo-Yo to save my life. Again, Scout's Honor, even though I've never never been a Boy Scout. Are you good with a Yo-Yo? A Yo-Yo. And then we also have, to go along with that, a little insert. Oh, let's not drop the things in the process. Oh, this was just the bottom of it, so we can put that to the side. But there's also a little insert that tells us all the different kinds of toys that we can get inside. And there is a lot to go here. Oh, there's even a Jaws little minifigure set of Brody and Jaws. It's funny that they called the shark Jaws. Garbage Pail Kids, there's Bob Ross, Richard Simmons. What else we have in here? He-Man, micro action figures of He-Man, Skeletor, Battle Cat, Panthor. Universal Monsters, there's a little tiny Chucky. There's monsters up at the top there. The Wolfman, Dracula, Frankenstein. Some really cool things if you guys like micro toys. I think there's even some on the back as well. Little tiny arcades as well. I would really like, I think, to get fully invested in collecting the micro arcades. I think these little tiny arcades would be so cool to have on a shelf. And again, if you have action figures... Easily, you could use those for your action figure displays. I'm going to pull out the next one. Just peel away the plastic. And again, a big thank you to the folks over at Super Impulse that sent these my way. What do we have here? Lincoln Logs. Uh, Lincoln Logs, I think, is before my time. I may have even gone to friends' houses or maybe my parents went to their friends. I went along for it because I was, of course, too young to stay at home. And maybe they had pulled out some Lincoln Logs I could play with. I mean, they were basically just like little logs of wood. You could build log cabins. You could build houses. You could basically build structures. I don't think you could build, like, tanks with Lincoln Logs. Maybe you could. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't open up for obvious reasons. It's just molded plastic. Like a little version of Lincoln Logs. That's kind of cool. And we'll take the plastic out of the way. And then from there, we're going to get into the adventure of opening up the rest. Now, this one's pretty small. What could be inside that seems so small? It's another yo-yo. A yo-yo. Duncan Imperial yo-yos, to be exact. A bit of garbage to be cleaning up after this with all these little baggies here. Let's open up the next one. This one feels very super flat. And what do we have? Is that a super... I guess that's a Nerf gun. Right? And then that's the magazine that you, you clip underneath to shoot the foam darts. I was not allowed to have a Nerf gun. Here's some a bit of admission here. I was not allowed to have a Nerf gun when I was little. Something about poking your eyes out. No, I'm not just copying that from Christmas Story. I think like every mother probably told their children, I don't really want guns in the house. You're going to shoot your eye out. Because you wouldn't be poking your eye out unless you just took the nozzle right in the eye. You'd be shooting your eyes out. Not to mention as well, they'd always say, don't shoot the dog. What kid is going out of their way? What monster of a child is deliberately sourcing out the dog? If there's other things in the house to be shooting at, shoot those things. Don't be going after the dogs. While talking about that, we certainly have a little tiny miniature Barbie. This is totally hair Barbie. I think that's totally cool. A little miniature Barbie. Look how long that hair is. She looks like Rapunzel. Look around on the back. 
I'm guessing, judging by the way the packaging and the way that Barbie looks on the back, these were things that would have existed back in the 80s. I think it's so neat the fact that they actually put them inside of cardboard boxes like this. So if you really wanted to, if you if you really wanted to, that is, you can certainly take Barbie out. And I think that's the last one. That is the last one in there. And there's the packaging. Micro toy box, miniature collectibles, world's smallest line. And the last one we have inside for at least the second box, I was careful not to drop it, the little tiny, tiny little teddy bear. And again, like if you had, going back to the well again to pull this idea, if you had little tiny figures, like regular action figures, you could give yourself like Michelangelo, little tiny teddy bear. Or maybe like Donatello. I'm just using the turtles as an example. But you got a little turtle like playing a basketball game. Why not? Why not, right? Let's go ahead and put that down. Though, And one last box that we're going to be opening up here. I mean, I would love to get myself a He-Man figure. I think that would be really cool. What are the things would I like to get? A viewfinder? How many kids had a viewfinder growing up? I love my viewfinder. I wish I still had those things. Those were unfortunately the things that, as a kid, you got a little older, you didn't need those things anymore. I know I'm saying the story of everybody probably went through the same thing. And you part ways with it, you either just donate it, or you give it to like a garage sale. Sell it for a garage for like 25 cents. You're selling away your memories, my friends. You're selling away your memories for a quarter. I'd say hold on to those things if you possibly can. In the back, there's a Hot Wheels car. This one has a hood that opens up, but I don't suspect the hood will be opening up on such a tiny little vehicle. Again, there's my thumb, just to, you know, not that that's a proper gauge of size, but just to kind of give you an idea. And what else we have in here? Of course, four more bags to open up. These should be available, I believe, right now in retail stores, if you guys are interested in picking these up for yourself. We've got a little barrel of monkeys. I had barrel of monkeys as a kid. Certainly not barrel of monkeys this small. Let's see, without dropping these, of course, little tiny monkeys. Those are going to get lost. Let's see if I can hook the two arms together. Don't worry, man, I'll save you, says the monkey to the other. And there's the little monkeys linking arms. That's how you played Barrel of Monkeys. You just literally dump them onto the floor and see how many monkeys you could actually link the arms together. Look how small these things are. Yeah, yeah, better be careful. I don't actually lose these. And then there's the whole barrel right here, which don't open up. And there's the monkey on the end of it. The barrel of 12 monkeys. That would be a fun game, wouldn't it? Uh, let's open up the next one here. we got a few more bags to go through, pillage through. Uh, to go along with our basketball game. I'm not sure what, this, what game is this. I guess it would go, I'm assuming it would go this way. Oh, it's probably football, right? Does it go this way? Maybe it goes this way, and then you would see... I mean, every everything back then was red dots. I mean, you want to talk poor graphics on older computer games. We predated that. We had literally red dots. Little red dots moving across the field. And then you would just have to pretend, okay, this, this red dot's got very large sideburns. Oh, my little red dot's got a mustache. That's using your imagination. And to go along with that, of course, we have the little basketball game. They're not the same one either. They're different molds, different stickers, different games, of course. And I think we got two more, two more to open up here. This one happens to be, oh, oh nice, a G.I. Joe. Real American hero. There's Duke. I may have even had Duke. I did actually have Duke as a kid. Now, his helmet is already in place. Oh, there's clearly Duke on the back there. His helmet is in place. The helmet back in the day would have, mind you, been able to remove. You could remove the helmet. Does he have his little file card? Oh, that would have been fun if they had put the file card on the back. With stats so small, there's, there's no way humanly possible you'd be able to read that. But a little file card on the back, I think, would have been a fun touch. Little tiny Duke. You can even act out scenes where maybe Cobra Commander has shrunk down Duke to a size of a thumb or even smaller. And the Joes have to save him before Cobra Commander steps on him and squishes him. Is this the fate of Duke? Stay tuned. And the last one we have, I want to make sure, of course, I've covered off. Yeah, okay. All right, you've looked at all the other ones. The last one we've had a look at 
is a little tiny shovel and pail. I can't imagine how much water you'd be able to hold in that, like a thimble's worth, a thimble's worth of water. I mean, this would certainly be funny if somebody says, quickly, I need water, and you, hold on, hold on, and you like run to the kitchen, like just I drop a few things of water in there and run the pail. I mean, hopefully it wasn't, it wasn't like a fire or anything like that, but not an emergency where you really needed water. But it would be funny if somebody just asked for some water. Like, do you, do you have any water? Like maybe if you were on the beach. I guess that would be the better analogy, like the better scenario. Somebody's at the beach making a sandcastle. Uh, can you quickly grab me some water? And somebody runs back and says, here you go. Let me know. Let me know how, mo how many more of these you may need. Quite a lot of cool little miniatures we actually got here. Um, some of my personal favorites is Monopoly. Even though it, uh, well, hey, there's the top hat right there. Geez, I really hope they haven't retired the shoe. I'm going to have to get myself a more up-to-date up Monopoly. See what kind of token pieces we have inside. Favorite Monopoly piece? Go. Go. Let me know down below in the comments section. I also really like the Duke. I think the Duke's fun. And I also think uh, the Hot Wheels is pretty neat as well. But again, these should be available right now in retail stores. A big thank you again to the folks over at Super Impulse who took the time, sent these my way, and they actually set them inside of a treasure chest. Points, I think, should be awarded for packaging. Uh, if you guys are new to this channel and enjoying the content you're seeing, hit that subscribe button down below, turn the bell notification on, and yes, please, if you be so, be so grateful, please make sure you keep your peepers peeled and come back to the channel because there's certainly going to be a lot more videos coming your way. As always, guys, as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.